What's happening, my YouTubers? It's Trey's face. I have a little break right now. Uh, I wanted to try and throw this video together for uh, one of the uh, contributions I got for the channel. If you are interested uh, in contributing to my channel, my PayPal link is in, in the uh, description box, along with my email if you're interested in working with me, or if uh, you have a uh, you know you're contributing to the channel and you also have um, a video that you would like me to do a topic you'd like me to talk about so this one goes out to Nicole uh, and I think somebody else had commented that they wanted to see me do a video about this topic so I'm gonna get this one done today and I have a few others that contributed to the channel that I will do f this week for you and thank you very much for those contributions I, I appreciate it greatly and for those of you that signed up with me this week I appreciate it 100% I can't wait to see uh, you know the progression uh, in getting through this this hard these hard times okay so today's topic is um, what happens when the narcissist uh, discards you and it's not the opposite way around that uh, you have been fed up and you left the narcissist okay so Here's what typically happens. I've talked about this before, but in case this might be one of the first videos you're watching of mine, let's get into it. So the narcissist is going to discard you, okay? At some point in the relationship, okay? That's how they operate. They do this for the sheer fact of them trying to have control. That is it. They want to be in the control seat with anything and everything in their life. Their favorite thing to do is to control you, their primary source. At one point, you were the primary source of fuel for the narky. And so, narky has to play games with narky. They, they play games with themselves, okay? They're always, always playing games. You have to understand that, that things are not going to make sense when, why, what, who, okay? You're never going to figure that part out. The part that you have to figure out is that they are game players at large. That is what they do. And they're doing this for, for entertainment for themselves. They're doing this for control. They're doing this so that they can feel like they are in that control seat. So understand that, you know, it could be so many different reasons why they're discarding you. But mostly, it's because at, it's, at some point, you know, they're, they're opportunists, guys. They're opportunists. They're always looking, they're always in somebody else's crap. They're always looking around to see what else other, others out there can do for them. Always. You know, I hate to say this. But to them, to, to them, in their mind, you are nothing more and nothing less than a Kleenex. That's it. They don't value you. They, if they actually had any sort of respect and, and, and love and value for you, they wouldn't do the horrible things they've done to you. All right? Think about all that. How they're mean and nasty to you. They're verbally abusive. They're emotionally abusive. They withhold from you. They play sex games with you. They're, most of them are porn addicts. They're doing all these rotten, nasty things behind the scenes that all of you, I'm sure, don't even know the half of what, they, what they're doing behind your back. They get off on this. Okay? So when they decide that they're going to discard you, it is because... They've found another opportunity that they think is, is going to help them succeed in life. Or because they know that you're, you're getting sick of their crap. And you've caught on to the game. And you've ripped the mask off. They're not going to have that. What are you kidding? Oh, heck no. They got to get in that control seat. So how do they get in that control seat? Trying to control your emotions. Trying to control you. Trying to always control the results. 
So please understand that with what the narcissist does, when the narcissist does it, who the narcissist does it with has absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing to do with you. It's not about you guys. It's not about you. Everything they do is about them. Everything. They have a motive for everything they're doing. And nine times out of ten, you're not even going to figure out what that motive is. Because they're sick individuals. There's something missing up here. No, no joke. I am a firm believer, and I know many of you are as well, that these people have demons inside of them. For real. Look up, look up Derek Prince on YouTube. He was beat, you know, he was ahead of his time. He talks about this stuff. He talks about delivering people from demons. Watch his YouTube videos and, and watch his old uh, speaking engagements. He was a motivational speaker. He went around and talked about this stuff. It's real stuff. Real people have come forward and said, yes, he delivered me from spirits I had inside of me. And it doesn't mean that you're full on possessed head spinning, spinning around. It means that, that even Christians can be walking around with demons inside of them. All right. And for those of you that aren't believers, well, you know, that's fine too. But I'm just, I'm trying to get you guys to understand that they're not from this, this planet earth. Okay. And that's why it's so hard to understand, to move on, to try and figure out why they're doing the things they're doing because we don't think and operate that way. So it's really difficult to try and, and figure out, you know, why would someone do this? You know, they bounce around from person to person because they feel safer that way. It's much easier for the narc to go start afresh and new with someone new that does not know them. Much easier than to try and do the right thing and, and be a decent human being and get some help and try to make it work with you. You know, from my experience, even when the narc, even when the narc says, okay, okay, honey, I'm going to go get some help or let's go to counseling together. Guess what? They're sitting in that counseling chair and they're looking at that counselor and you know what they're thinking? You know what they're thinking? I'm going to get that counselor too. I'm going to fool that counselor. <laughs> Cuz I'm a narc. I am a narc. And that's what I do. I'm a fooling clown. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you before you get me. Because I'm an arc. <laughs> so please understand that this is what is going on. And this is why you've been discarded. You were going to get discarded. You were, it was going to happen. Whether it be the first year or 20 years from now. The best thing you guys can do, okay, it doesn't matter if you were discarded or you discarded the narc, you have to understand this was going to happen. This was going to happen. And, and the whole hoovering thing that they do, it's a sick obsession to get control again. It's all about that, as I said. So you have to, the best thing you can do is run. Don't walk away. Run away. Get yourself strong. Stay the heck away from these people. Because they're just going to bring you down each time around and around and around you'll go. They're going to bring you down to the depths, pits of hell. And they enjoy it. You know, and you, you have to, you have to understand you've, you've won Okay, you win with your happiness, with your success, with your getting away from them, with not bothering when they want to come bother back with you, come hoover and sniff around just to get information, just to see if they can control you some more, just to see if they can 
mess with you some more. You win when you don't play any more games with the insane, disgusting narc. Okay? They're obnoxious. They're full of themselves. They're know-it-alls. The only way, I keep saying this, I'm going to keep saying it. The only way we're going to beat, the good is going to beat evil in this world, which this is the war we're at. It's the war between good and evil. That's what we're seeing here. The only way to beat it is to not play with them, to completely ignore them. They hate that. They hate it. They hate being ignored. So you ignore the living daylights out of them. You don't give them anything of you anymore. No emotions, no thoughts, nothing. Stay busy and stay the hell away from them. That's my message for all of you today. I hope that a lot of you take my message. Heed my warning. Narcs need to just hang with them, their kind. And us empaths need to find one another. Stick together. I'm Trace Face. And it is time we all face the truth together.